Hello witches, it's Stregabella. I thought I would show you um, what I did for Christmas decorations so far. And um, I haven't got a tree yet. I'm not sure if we're ever gonna actually um, get a tree, but we'll see. <clears throat> we might end up with like a, a really last minute Charlie Brown tree. So um, I have just some table decorations. Um, I have up the nativity set. When I was a little kid, I used to steal the baby Jesus and play with him. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I don't have candles yet, but I love the pine cones. Usually I put a Santa hat on my, um, <clears throat> my little owl guy, but he got a Santa hat and I can't find the little tiny red one just yet. I just bought these guys this year at the grocery store. That guy used to have a bottom attached so you could open him up, but I lost the bottom. Mm -hmm. This picture, Joy is still in the picture because she always says, well, I'm not in it, but yeah, she's in my belly. Bring my plants in for the winter. Feel bad for them because they don't get a lot of sunlight if the um, shades are down. And I try to remind my husband to keep the shades up, but he thinks it keeps the heat in the house if he keeps them down. These are all little angels that have our names on them. Kyle. My name, Joy, Faith, and John. And then my husband was like, there's none of me. This guy is him. <laughs> and it's made out of an acorn, or a nut, some kind of nut. I got that, well, these, this little guy in Salem, actually, the little nut guy. And um, these ornaments are really, really old. This one is actually, not, not the ones here, but this ornament goes with a bunch of ornaments that are on an old tree that I inherited. I used to wear that um, wreath around my waist when I was a little kid. My grandmother made it, so it's really special to me. It's like kind of one of my, it has special meaning spiritually attached to it. Stocking, that's my scarf. The walls are the same. I never take my uh, witchy wreath down. My totem pole broke, so I have to um, glue the bottom back together. The wind blew it down, I guess, on the porch. I still have this whole box of stuff that I have to um, put up. And this stuff um, I didn't put up, and I'm going to put back in the basement. My daughter didn't want her leg lamp from that movie, The Christmas Story. I wanted to put it up, but she didn't. Uh, okay. Now this is the badness right here. That is a clusterfuck, and I need to get rid of it. Because <clears throat> when I come in here, I like to open my cabinets and light stuff up. And, and I have Christmas candle stuff, my, my little furs. Incenses in that box, and then down here I have some other special stuff. And uh, I'll do a separate video uh, showing you guys the inside because I reorganized a bunch of it. And I've had this guy for a long time, love him, he's like one of my favorite. And this tree, ha this is the antique tree that I inherited from a friend of my grandmother. Oh dear, I just pulled the whole thing. Oh my goodness, I didn't know the top of this comes off. Um, yeah, so there's some really, really ancient ornaments on here. And the weirdest thing is, um, I think, something weird um, when I was doing offerings up in my garden to the Fae. This was packed in the basement. And, you know, all the ornaments, have I can keep them on the tree. And mysteriously, um, a little tiny corn dolly appeared 
somehow got from there all the way from the basement into my garden. And uh, I have some suspicions that something pretty supernatural was happening. Um, I, and I and then I kept it out. Um, I didn't put it back on the tree. I think I have it in here. I'm not sure if I do or not. Uh, no, I don't know what I did with it now. Oh dear. Hope I didn't lose it. But um, yeah, so this is the kitchen. A lot of these are really old ornaments that I've had for a long, long time. <clears throat> The, uh, the this is the second spot for all my plants keep them happy these guys at least get sun but it's kind of chilly here by the window so I hope the aloe plants don't get too cold but it gets pretty cold in the desert from what I know so I think they'll do okay there's not really any decorations over there I'm just showing you that for no reason this is my yule log that my dad made Got the three holes. I almost burnt the house down though once with it because um <laughs> they burnt all the way to the bottom and caught the log on fire and I had to put the fire out. But thankfully the log survived. I still have to decorate this. And uh last but not least is the porch. Um this is poison. My kids were like, Well, what are you making in there? I'm like, poison. <laughs> Uh, some drying stuff. I keep my um, some of my vegetables out here so they stay fresh. But actually, now they're going to be frozen, so that's not really good. Um, there's not really any decorations on that side. And yeah, I keep some of my Halloween -y stuff out because I love it. This um, you can put a candle in the back. Pretty cool. And this broke too. I was so sad when my um, totem pole burnt or uh, blew down. It blew that down too, and it broke. Let's see if it, it'll glue together. And this, um, I this is my little Charlie Brown tree that I kind of put together. Um, I have a bunch more, so I might just have each of my kids make little tiny trees. Um, I have blank trees like that, and you can add whatever you want to it. So I just made that last year, and there it is. Just this weird pathetic tree. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh, I never took her down. My witch is still up. <laughs> but usually I try to take down most of the Halloween stuff. And um, we had this on the wall, I mean on the door, but it's really heavy and it keeps falling down. So I don't think it's gonna survive. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed my witchy tour. Bye.